started uh, kickboxing Muay Thai about, uh, I've probably been doing it for about 10 years now, almost. And uh, yeah, I just started with fitness and um, I trained probably like you know, two and a half years before I had my first fight. And um, I, I thought it would be crazy <laughs> that everyone who fought was crazy. But um, yeah, my trainer thought I'd be really good and he said, no, no, you do really good. And somehow he managed to get me in the ring and then um, in my first fight I won the first round two KO. And then uh, next thing you know, I was fighting two weeks later and I won that fight too. And from there I just ended up fighting and training and, you know, I really loved it and it was, uh, yeah, it was really good to, I finally to challenge myself and um, just get better. I decided I was going to come to Thailand um, after I had a couple of fights in China and I just kind of ended up talking to Danny and asking him about it and um, then he said, well, you know, we like, would come fight for Comtep and I guess here I am. So. I didn't really know what to expect because I know that they, they do things a little different out here. Like the first round, it doesn't really count for anything. So a lot of time it's a feeding out round or slow round, but you can knock them out in the first round. So, um, but yeah, so I, and then I guess the fourth and fifth round are really important. And, um, punches don't count really so much like they do um, in other places. So I guess punches is to do damage or to, I guess, um, set up the kicks or, you know, knock them out. Um, I just use behind them points to try to knock them out with your hands a lot of the time. So, I didn't really, yeah, I just, my first fight, I really had no idea. Like, and I was a little worried about the elbows, so I had my hands really, really high. Because I, <laughs> I looked around when I got to town and I saw all these people with, like, scars and missing eyebrows and stuff. And I'm like, oh, no, I definitely want to avoid that. <laughs> so I wanted to stay pretty by keeping my hands up, so it worked out all okay. I'm the ISKA featherweight champion in um, So it's oriental rules, so it's um, slight Muay Thai, but without so elbows, um, basically. Kind of like they want to and punches do count. I'd like to become a world champion. That's, I had like a lot of goals, I guess, for my first starter. And a lot of them as a follow on and I guess that was one of the ones that I always wanted. So, I, mean, I wanted to be a Canadian champion when I first started, and that was far away, and it took me a long time. And eventually, I became a Canadian champion, and then now I want to be a uh, I don't know, world champion. And I hope to win the Queen's Cup. That's, that's kind of why I want to be in Thailand, as opposed to like a big goal of mine. I've been in Thailand and the Queen's Cup like one of the most prestigious tournaments. I've been doing um, every morning, 6 a.m., go for like a uh, 10K run, and then come train and just uh, do like you know, five or 10 rounds on the heavy bag, and then, you know, pad work, and a lot of pinching, and doing the kickboxing is fun, and uh, way too many sit-ups and push-ups. <laughs>